Oh, look at this. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel i'm chris this is chris noted if you are new here please click that subscribe button uh, if you are a returning viewer hey boo how you doing so today's nail tutorial i have the to be glam take home poly gel kit so i don't know if you guys know this but this is my first sponsored collaboration with a brand and I'm really excited about it. So I know you guys have seen the last poly gel tutorial that I did and I did not use the dual forms, but since I am collaborating, I am going to use the dual forms this time to perform this tutorial the right way to apply poly gel. Cause the last time you saw my video, I did it my way. So we are going to do it the correct way today. Um, so let's go ahead and get to these nails. I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. I already pre-opened the package because I was so excited about seeing what was in here. So let's go ahead and open it back up. It really wasn't much. It was like a little sticker that was like right here. But this is cute. So when you open it, it says, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> that was just so cute. So when you see this kit, it comes with, so you have your plastic dual forms in which we are using today in this nail tutorial. So I like this, their dual form packet because it comes with different shapes in every size. So like I see the stiletto and we're gonna do stiletto today. So I see like stiletto, I see round, like this is like a, a round con, and then like, I, I guess they don't have stiletto in the round. It looked like it was more than that, but I guess that's like the square for them. I don't know, but we're gonna do stiletto today because I haven't had stiletto nails in a minute. So we're gonna do that today. Um, They also give like this little UV lamp, which I think is cool, because I would love to have a little lamp on the go. So this is, you how do you cut it off like what do you do oh i gotta charge it okay this cute so we have us like a little LED, a little mini led lamp that comes with the kit okay but we're gonna use my led lamp <laughs> just like this we're not gonna use this today um let's see they gave us a one 100 by 180 grit it feels nice yeah i like that i like how it feels and then you get the gel brush so the gel brush i don't know i like that Ooh. i like how soft that is it looks it feels really good and then the spatula i mean i just love this off top just because it's pink okay and then they, they supply us with the top coat and the base. So we have these. And then I'm going to let y'all see these colors. I'm going to put it on this because I'm going to let y'all see these colors. These colors are so stinking cute. I just feel like y'all should see them. So, oop, oop, oop. I just dropped the top. But this is the first one. All right, so the first one's called Just In Pink. That's a really, really, really pretty color. I love that pink. I'm gonna do a pink and white with that pink. And then this is, this is very neutral. It's called Sweet Talk. I like this. This is, this is good. Oh, uh, and you know, I'm really not into purples, but I looked at this last night and I love the glitter. So you can see that. So, so good. Okay. Ooh, this one is my favorite because I love light shimmery pinks. So that might be my fave. And I think this is another glitter pink. 
And this is actually the pink that we're gonna use today. Ooh, look how pretty this is. And then I think this is just clear. I was messing with it last night, but I think it's just clear, 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 clear. If y'all hear any voices today, it's because, any extra voices I mean, it's because I'm sharing a suite with someone and they're here today and she does hair and she just has people over. And I could have recorded at home, but I wanted to record in my suite, so that's what I did. I know that y'all have to hear the noise and the conversations and whatnot, but you won't be able to hear them that much over me. But look at these colors. Pretty, okay? Pretty. I love it. Okay. So, now that we have that out the way, um, I'm gonna go in and prep my nose. So I already gave myself a manicure, so we really don't have much to do when it comes to the nail part, as far as like, all we have to do is prep it. So I really just need to like buff it a little bit and dehydrate my nail. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Just gonna buff my nail a little bit, because they say that you should um, do the regular prep that you would do. Now I'm. Of course, you know, I drill on my bed, but I'm just gonna buff it this time. You know, Kurt, I'm really excited about my nails because for one, I have not had my nails done in about a good week because I've been waiting on this kit. I have been waiting. Well, hold on, has it been a week? Well, I took my nails off before I got the kit. And then when I found out I was getting the kit, I was like, I want it. I, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Okay. Okay, my nails. You know what? We are gonna use this today, but no, we're not gonna use this. Today. We're gonna just use my raggedy old gel paint. So, it was, I said gel paint. It'll be lamp. So the colors that we're gonna use today in this kit, we're gonna grab this pink. And we're gonna grab and look. You know, I think I'm gonna mix those two together because I just want like shimmers. And hey, you guys. So I really didn't want you guys to see me prepping and priming and whatever. I decided to speed it up because you know, yeah, I'm gonna explain it again anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my nails are. Preps. I use the base coat to prep my nails. I did my usual prepping that I would do with any other uh, nail enhancement, shellac, um, gel polish. Well, I don't, even, I don't have to use it with dip, but um, yeah. So these are my little nubs. And now we're gonna get into these forms. So I decided, oh, 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 oh. don't do that. Y'all, this is me rigging my light to stay <laughs> in the same spot. You just got one job, just one jizz. way too much okay so let me get this we have our alcohol today and we have our spatula so we're gonna figure out which size now we're gonna do first I, I think my pinky is a seven this is a seven mm, this seven is a little big though let me see um, what is this it's a six so let me get a six This is um, this is pretty small. So yes, I have to do the seven. Okay. Okay. Now I guess so. All right. So what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna try to swirl it in like I did in the last video, how I kind of <laughs> made that marble look. So on some of my nails, I am going to have the marble look on my nails because like I just wanna do like a little, a little cute little simple design. So I'm gonna have like a design on my middle finger and my pinky finger. 
So we're gonna see how, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make a smaller bead in here. And I'm going to I don't think about it, it's so sticky, like it just gets everywhere. It's the only thing about it. But I like this, like I just like looking at it. I'm having a hard time um, holding it in my hand, y'all can see. If you've used poly gel before, like, let me know how it worked for you. Like, what's some tips, especially with me holding this right now? I'm not used to holding a dual form at all. Like, I'm not used to this shit. So the fact that I am doing this right now is really like, it's throwing me. Cause it's so sticky, as y'all can see, I'm about to wipe my nails. I'm gonna like literally wipe my hands because my fingers are so sticky. trying to swirl it in there. This is a little harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Do it in the dual form. Like it was easier when I just used the tip and just like put it on there myself. So like I'm trying to swirl this. If y'all have any easier methods, let me know because dude this is kind of hard. <laughs> Cause like why is it really doing like exactly what I wanted to do? Let's see. We're just gonna see how it's gonna look now. We're trying to just get over it. Cause it's really nothing that we can do at this point. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we gonna see what this is talking about. I'm gonna press this on here. Definitely going to. My nail is big. That's so sticky. 
I'm touching that. Okay, so we're gonna do the next finger in which I think should be a four. Y'all, this is, the, the four is gonna be easier because, <clears throat> The four is gonna be easier if it just went off the swift eight. I'm only gonna do one solid color. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a nice pink. That was definitely too much. It's definitely way too much. So. Way too much, y'all. Uh, I'm just out here doing stuff. Yeah, I see how it's like sliding down. One thing I am gonna say is this polish gel is like is extremely easy to work with compared to the Macar poly gel I was using. It's true enough, I, I love my Macar poly gel. I'm gonna continue to use it, but I do like how easy this is to move. Like it's really, 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 really easy. And I like it. I mean, I love that it doesn't move. Like, as you can see, like I've been moving it around and playing with it and it hasn't moved, which is really good. So I'm finding out that honestly, the more that I pack it down, the easier and better that it looks. Like, like I said, this is my first time doing it the right way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm still. Definitely think I may have put too much on. Okay. Um. Ooh, ooh. You know, if I was gonna be out here doing poly journeys, I could have really just started doing this last year when I found out about it. If I would have knew that I was gonna be this interested, I would have started polish gel nails last year when I found out about it. Again, I just, I just would have. I'm just, I'm mad at myself for taking so long to get into this. This is cute. So I'm gonna have to watch how I pack this because some of the, like I can see why they say you have to watch how you pack it because I would have probably too much. But that's okay though, because I mean, these my nails, I can fix it. And it doesn't look like I'm have that much of a, um, a job to like fix. That's cool. You guys, so far, like I'm saying, like these nails have are really, really, really like, this is probably one of the best ideas and the most, like the most, honestly, the easiest way to do nails because you don't really have to do much. Like, it's not like you're using a drill. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you can use a drill. I'm gonna use a drill. Um, while using this, I am going to grab a drill. But, like I'm saying, like, you don't really have to do much. Yeah, I'm still working with this poly gel, as y'all can see. I'm still working with it, but I really love these colors. Like, they're so pretty. I'll pack that back down. This is actually working out a lot better in my favor for how I'm mixing these two together. Mm 
I think this is a lot better. Y'all, I'm so interested in this. I'm sorry that like I'm not talking as much, but like I'm really just like intrigued with this process and I'm just trying to figure out like how I can move this around. Like I'm really trying to figure this out. Like, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. And like I said, I think poly gel is great for, um, you know, people who are just now starting out to do nails. Because like I said, this is easy. Like you really don't need a drill. Um, I'm really just moving this around with alcohol and they give you everything that you need. Even if you don't, even if they don't have the liquid for you in the pack, in which I feel like every packet should have the nail liquid in there, but whatever. Um, I just feel like, you could just figure it out. Like, it's so easy to figure out and to do. You could easily, easily do these. And I recommend this for all girls. Like, if you don't want to go to the nail shop and you just want to do something easy at home, you literally, depending on the, um, the kids that you choose, like, you can literally... They'll give you, let's see, how many did I get in this one? I think I got like five or six colors. Like you can easily get like five or six colors and just do this for yourself at home. They give you dual forms. Like it's easy. And as you can see, like I don't even have to do any, any cleanup. Like I'm pretty much just putting it on putting all of the gel inside of that dual form and then just working from that. Like, I'm not doing nothing. You have all of the control over this product. You just have to use that control. And I am, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, um, what is this one? I think this one is five. So let me get us a five. glitter I'm gonna do another glitter one like that because I like how it looks
how smooth it is in there, y'all. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm gonna put some more in there, but I'm not. So now that our dual forms are put on, that part is complete, thank God. Cause, girl, that gel paint is so serious. I'm not gel paint, um, this poly gel is fucking serious. It's a lot to work with, but like I said, I think that this is best for beginner nail techs because you get to see what it's like to use at least some sort of a product and try to like work with it because you're doing that really with any product that you use regardless if it's acrylic or if it's gel polish or if it if, if it's just shellac like you're gonna have to learn how to work with it like it's just it is what it is but let me, let's just see about taking these off Ooh. Y'all. Okay. Let's go ahead and file these up a little bit. I'm definitely gonna find some more forms to use. Cause I do need forms that are gonna fit my size, my size nail 100% because I have like these little things on the sides. So like they stick out. But these two forms are it. Next time I think I might use a tip, but I am gonna lay it out the same. As you can see, we are pretty much done with this tutorial. Um, like I said, I love this. My only issue with it is, I don't think I really care for the dual forms. Um, I feel like they do what they're supposed to do, of course. But um, I just feel like, like I said, my size, like my nails, the way that they're shaped and how they kind of flare out, I just feel like the dual forms are okay. But um in the future i will be using nail tips and then also as you can see i base coated it 
once already, but I'm gonna do it twice just to kind of make it a little stronger. Um, a lot of other nail techs, they like to use um, a gel builder. I thought about using the gel builder, but since I don't know if I'm gonna keep these nails on that long, because um, I'm only doing one hand, as you can see. Uh, today's Friday, tomorrow Saturday. Well, and you're gonna be seeing this video. <laughs> Uh, at 12 but anyways yeah so like i'm gonna be very busy tomorrow and i can't use my hands the way that i want to whenever both of my nails are both of my hands are long so i'm just gonna do this set and then you know i'll think about doing the other nails i actually have this other nail idea that i want to do i have something in my head that i just feel like is so so cute and i just want to execute it but i don't know how i want to carry out carry it out 100 percent so wait on that um but yeah other than that yeah i enjoy these nails i am however going to because i, I want to kind of bedazzle these up a little bit so i am going to throw on some nail polish and just put some on the nails just to make it look cute nothing too much just to keep it cute and i am going to use the gel builder for that <laughs> because i feel like the gel builder oh my i feel like the gel builder um holds the gel a lot better. I mean, not the gel, it holds, I don't know why I'm getting my words mixed up so much. It holds the um, rhinestones a lot better in my opinion. So I think it's best to use gel bitter whenever you are applying your rhinestones. Um, but I'm not gonna do, let me see. Which rhinestones do I wanna do? I just wanna do like a simple, like something real simple, something real cute. Nothing too much. Okay, I'm only gonna put it on two nails. Like I don't want my my goal is not okay. I'm gonna put the first one in. I just want like just small but like cute. Something something simple but cute. You see that? Oop. This nail is gonna be so strong. All right, and then after we finish, I'm gonna wash them off, and then I'm done. This is honestly like really, really easy, but really slick hard at the same time. It's been an hour. We're taking for 45, well, an hour, 45 minutes to do one hand, one hand. Oh, my nails are so cute. 